So it's it's the day of the storm, but it hasn't arrived yet. I think it will be here in about two hours. And uh, they've issued a red alert, which means it's going to be quite brutal. So I think some of the places where I was uh, last night is, is out of the questions. I can't go there. And in addition to that, I'm bringing my father as kind of a, a co assistant today so if something goes wrong at least there are two of us and we can uh, help each other out um, so I'm really looking forward to this I, I'm hoping it's not going to be too windy but we'll see we'll see it's quite exciting at least now right now it's it's dead quiet it's absolutely no wind so in two hours We'll see where we are. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find us a storm. What do you think? I think it's uh, it's what they call stille før stormen in Norwegian. It's 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 very calm just before. It starts. So uh, by seven o'clock, I think it will be uh, quite heavy wind. So that was my father. He is gonna function as a wave watcher today. If I'm hit by a wave, he will rescue me. And vice versa, if he gets hit by a wave. So it's it's getting there, but it's not quite here yet. So right now, I'm approximately at the same place I was yesterday. And as you can see, it's, it's raining and it's raining a lot. So we're gonna be in the car a bit and see. It's getting there, let's just say that. It's a bit too much rain to do any constructive video making outside. So we decided to be in the car just to see if it cleared up just a tiny bit. Just the 10 minutes we've been in our car right now, the, the wind has picked up very, very much speed. So you can feel the wind in the car right now. So the storm is definitely on its way. I looked through the images I took from this place yesterday and my initial thought is that I'm fairly happy with two of them so I kind of feel that I've documented this place uh, pretty good. Uh, I wish that the, the one of the images, uh, the one with the large wave, I wish I was not so close to it. I wish I had pulled back a bit and uh, to kind of to get the scale of that wave more across. I'm just too close. I think we're gonna move on to a different location where I haven't been while there's a storm and see how the storm reacts to that location. So I think we're gonna drive. So we drove to a different place and it's 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 windy here as well. So we're just gonna have a look around and see if we can find some something. The wind is definitely picking up speed. So we're gonna see if we can find an interesting mountainside here where, where the waves crash over and we can stand at a safe distance and take the image. So we're gonna have a bit of a reconnaissance. This is exactly why I went out yesterday, so I didn't have to do this. I wasn't too satisfied with the locations I found, so I'm gonna have a quick look around right now. So that mountain out there in the in the ocean, I think as the wind is picking up speed, I think oh, yes, it's very slippery. I think that's an ideal candidate for some uh, wave, interesting wave shots. It, already, it starts to kind of wash over it. So that's an ideal candidate for sure. So I think we're going to see if we can find a composition. Go back, get the camera and set up.
get the camera! Camera! That was ridiculous. Uh, the, the rain was kind of whippy. <laughs> and I couldn't see a thing because of the glasses. Uh, and yes, I mentioned that I preset my camera before I went out, but it had absolutely meant nothing. I had no idea what I was doing. I could barely hold the camera, let alone hold my balance. So. It is one of those environment images, I think. It's just, it's, it's nothing with the composition to do whatsoever. Composition means nothing. It's just an image of the weather. <laughs> but it was very fun. It makes you feel alive. Somehow, I, I don't know, but somehow when I join you on these trips, I always get wet. I don't know why. Okay, so we drove back to the first place we were because right now the wind has picked up tremendous speed. So remember I talked about how I wish I was further away from that image yesterday. That's what I'm going to try to capture. I'm going to take the same image, same place, but I'm going to be a bit further away. So I'm going to go over there, out in the rain yet again, and uh, just take the image. Simple as that. The only thing I, I'm sure of is that I need a shutter speed around 600. So I'm going to preset my camera so I have around 600. Go into full autofocus because uh, the conditions are quite brutal. I'm not sure if you've noticed. So full autofocus, just take it off, take off the lens cap, make sure you have the high enough shutter speed and hope for the best. So that's my plan. And it's a solid plan. where things started to get really ugly. The sea spray generated from those massive waves made it nearly impossible for me to navigate the wet rocks, at least for a fellow with glasses and poor eyesight. The rain was whipping my face and the wind was howling and it was everywhere. I fell more than once as I scurried my way towards my location. Okay, let's do this. Determined to get at least one image. Didn't matter much of what, just an image, and as I stated while stumbling around on those wet rocks, too, too much, much wind. wind is a bad thing. It's a slut. When I arrived. 
arrived at the location, I took out my camera, removed the lens cap, and just fired away. Sorry about the sound conditions. trying to time a wave, and the result was quite surprising. I kind of give up. This storm got the best of me, I think. It's it's too much rain, it's too much wind. I can't see anything through the viewfinder. I struggle to keep myself on my feet and it's just too much seawater in the air. It's like fog, so it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just hard. I don't think it's impossible, but I just can't seem to do it right now. I tried to take the image, but <laughs> I'm not sure at all what came out of it. Hopefully a good, uh, kind of a good on the scene image if you know what I mean but it's been very fun and very worth it so I think that's all from my edge of the world this week so I'll see you in in about a week I guess if you like this little outing and want to see more consider subscribing to my channel it helps a lot and I ap greatly appreciate it also if you want to leave a comment below that also helps and it's fun to read and I respond to every single one of them. Alright, ha det fint allesammen!